There are many different factors that contributed to Colorado's largest wildfire season in history. Forest management and fire suppression priorities of the past led to overgrown fuels and large patches of beetle-killed trees added to the dry fuel load. But a new study from Colorado State University isolated just the influence of climate change. The signal is abundantly clear. It's, it's, it's noticeable to the eye. Statistics professor Dan Cooley used something called the Fire Weather Index to identify only the extreme meteorological conditions of the 2020 wildfire season. He then applied those conditions to two computer simulations. One he calls the current climate from 2002 to 2021 and a past climate from 1959 to 1978. He found that an extreme wildfire season like 2020 is four to ten times more likely in a current climate. Uh, putting a number on it, even, even with the uncertainties, is, is another way to convey the, to the public that things really have changed. He says daytime and nighttime temperatures are warmer and the air is drier in our current climate. That leads to more frequent fire weather conditions. What this means is, you know, the ways we protected ourselves against fire for the last hundred years may not be uh, adequate anymore. We really do need to, to, to change the way we are thinking about fire and um, and, and, and climate's a, a big piece of it. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Cooley said he simulated thousands of different fire seasons with current climate conditions and an extreme wildfire season like 2020 happened about three times every 100 years.